<coughs> Fuck, you have to cut that one out. Day two, knocked off about, we reckon about 200 kilometers of the track. It's actually bitumen for the first 50, off, once you get off the main road, just after Catherine. And then it goes to pretty heavy corrugations. We just stopped for a bite to eat, and a little bit of a fish, no luck. I'd say we're about two thirds of the way to our final destination here. Yeah. It's been really cool so far. Seen heaps and heaps of wildlife, water buffalo, pigs that just let you drive right up to them. We saw a dingo this morning that didn't seem to care about us or the car either. So, as you can probably tell now, we're back on the, the heavy corrugation. We arrived at camp after two days of driving. The boat was in the water and the lines were wet. Jules and Pete had come back with some oysters that were growing on the mangroves. You really can't beat fresh oysters. They tasted amazing. We were itching to have some fish for dinner. So not long after, we were back out there. One Arvo, we drove further along the track up the coast to check out the other camping and day use areas. Nullumboy, the hub of East Arnhem. After stocking up on food and water in Nullumboy, we drove to Rainbow Cliffs and had some lunch. Then it was back to camp for another R boat out in the boat.
The boys had gone out fishing all day and in the late afternoon a car rocked up and a group of indigenous ladies jumped out. They began collecting wood and laying out blankets by the river. They were weaving baskets and we respectfully asked if we could sit with them. They were more than happy for us to watch and even learn from them. We began learning how to weave. They showed us the process of peeling and drying their pandanus and the ladies showed us how they were dyeing their pandanus with the red plant root in boiling water. Once a week, the ladies would come down to the river, cook up some damper and some local seafood they caught and collected. They were very generous to let us taste some. They taught us about their land where we were sat, taught us some of their language and explained that they were in the process of providing cultural tours and classes for tourism. Nayari sells her baskets at the local cultural centre. If you're ever in the area, please go check it out. Do you eat them? Yeah? Good. Boil them. So, um, we're on, actually on our way back now from um, East Arnhem Land. We just spent the night in a gravel pit on the side of the road about I think we're about 90 k's from the fuel stop we're aiming for Dali waters and the next fuel that way is Mataranka and we were like right on the limit of how many k's we could get out of the tank we decided to stop a little bit earlier last night and um, get some fuel this morning it was beautiful up in Arnhem land had a great time the weather was great the most of the time it was a little bit windy and cold the last day but that was all right. We're heading to uh, Borolula. Uh, we're gonna go via Dally Waters Pub, because uh, it's a personal favorite of, of ours. And then we're gonna head along, I forgot what the highway's called. The Carpenteria. Carpenteria, maybe, highway. And then uh, down to Barclay Homestead and then across, and hopefully, COVID permitting, into Queensland. We'll get a few more shots of us on the road. It's very, very rough where we are at the moment, but. Hopefully it gets a little bit better. See you later. We arrived at Delhi Waters and had a great night at the pub and the next morning we checked out Tim's junkyard.
Not too far from the Dully Waters pub is an old aviation hangar. The aerodrome represents an era of Aussie aviation. Inside the hangar there is a lot of information explaining its important role in Australia's possible defence in World War II. We then walked the Heritage Trail to try and find the John Stewart tree. The explorer John Stewart is presumed to have carved the initial S on this particular tree in 1862. We found the tree and we think we found the S. However, over time it has been harder to find and we still aren't sure what we saw was in fact the S. Once again we let down the tyres for the heavily corrugated dirt road into Lemon National Park. The sun was setting and we were keen to get to camp, set up and have a drink and some food after a long day of driving. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more.